Lavadiana. Today I'm gonna be making an outdoor kiosk for brochures, booklets, uh, general info and tickets possibly. The client trusted in me and haven't restricted me with some design requirements apart from some measurements. So I've experimented a bit. I guess without further ado, let's jump into the build. I've decided to make uh, the frame out of uh, square tubing. This is, uh, I believe, 25 by 25 mil tubing. So first of all, I needed to cut uh, the pieces to length and weld up the frame. And the design uh, for this uh, frame is rather simple, so I'm not gonna go into much of a detail. Uh, there was basically only four parts which need to be cut at, uh, at the angle, uh, and that's to form this uh, roof slope if you will and once I determined the angle uh, the rest was uh, fairly simple and I adjusted uh, the saw uh, made the cut uh, and welded the pieces beforehand uh, and only then I attached it uh, to the rest of the frame After I finished these side pieces, the next step was obvious to marry these two together with some straight pieces. And since I didn't have a big enough welding table for this structure, uh, it wasn't that easy to maintain the squareness and plumbness, but it worked out. The, the structure ended up being uh, fairly, uh, fairly square. I decided to just sub the steel frame with some plywood uh, panels and that basically meant that uh, I have to create some places uh, for the screws to go through uh, into the panel. So that's why I'm breaking up this uh, steel bar and uh, creating a lot of, so to speak, coupons, uh, which eventually will be uh, welded uh, onto the steel frame and I will be able to drill a hole and put the screw through them. Initially I thought that this procedure will not take long but uh, well I was wrong again uh, I had to put uh, I, I had to weld quite a few of these tabs uh, just because I, I will be using a rather thin uh, sheet of plywood and uh, I wanted to remove any potential flex from it and the frame was uh, basically finished at this stage uh, all was left to do is paint it but before doing that I decided uh, I would like to cut the plywood and make sure to that it fits uh, into the openings because uh, after painting i would probably strip uh, some paint so i wanted to do this step uh, beforehand now most of the pieces are prepared and i'm confident enough to start painting so for the plywood i decided to paint the outside black uh, just to create uh, a really contrasting uh, effect uh, because uh, I will add some details uh, onto this black background. And the frame uh, also will be black, uh, just not to stand out too much because it's just a frame. Uh, I Initially I started uh, priming uh, with the brush but it was too time consuming and I switched to spray. Uh, spray cans and it was a lot faster and I'm glad I did that okay so here's the thing uh, this build uh, might not look like very unique or unconventional and that's because uh, when I don't have a clear idea I just start building it and usually my inspiration uh, comes uh, in the middle of the process and that's just what happened uh, with this build. I had some uh, old fence, uh, oak fence uh, strips laying around the workshop without any good use. So I decided to cut these into strips and eventually into these squares, uh, which uh, will be my pixels uh, for this pixel art, if you will. It will come clear just in a second. So at this, uh, at the beginning I was a bit uh, uh, uncertain how the design should look so first of all I played around uh, with the 
with these pixels uh, I made them in different thicknesses uh, some of them were painted so I played around with the design and I landed with this wave uh, theme uh, just because uh, this kiosk will sit uh, by the water and uh, it will be used uh, to promote the water activities as far as I know so uh, I made this wave and I when I was confident that it looks great uh, all I had to do is take uh, every single <laughs> square and place a dab of glue under it uh, even though it looks intimidating it didn't take too long and for the next designs I was uh, getting a bit uh, more confidence and I started uh, gluing these uh, pixels right away and when I had uh, all three sides uh, done uh, with the design uh, I decided to add an extra layer of protection because it will be sitting outside so I applied uh, a coat of uh, outdoor uh, oil and the next day I was able to put this whole structure together the thing was uh, that I didn't know what to do uh, in the inside I haven't decided I, I thought I will give it a shot I will make the frame and then I will decide so uh, this structure is uh, uh, this kiosk is not finished yet so I pulled one uh, more uh, sheet of plywood and started building the doors and inner shelves uh, for the unit I could have done it I mean I should have done it beforehand but uh, just as I mentioned I wasn't uh, decided on the full design yet so I'm doing it now uh, so making two doors wasn't an option just simply because the doors would have been too wide and the hinges wouldn't have held so I had to create this uh, insert in the middle and uh, I decided to make it uh, to be removable uh, and held uh, by these magnets and once the insert were, was done I painted everything uh, black uh, just to match the, the looks and uh, while the paint was drying uh, I had to create these uh, brackets so to speak uh, for the magnets to uh, attach to and uh, once I was done with those uh, the rest was uh, just putting everything together but just before driving any screw uh, I decided to shim the panels in place and make sure that the spacing is okay and once I was satisfied uh, I screwed down the brackets I made and also I glued a strip uh, of wood uh, from the inside of the insert uh, just so it would uh, find its location uh, every time and now all of the pieces are prepped and uh, I had to add that same uh, extra layer of protection and uh, finally put everything together well I think I'm gonna end the talking here sincerely thank you for being with me and I really hope to see you soon bye bye